the Bacon founder of Sisters Sowing Seeds. And this message is primarily for my sisters who were not able to join our call last night. First and foremost, I apologize. Zoom is a new application that I'm utilizing and I have no idea why it did not let some users join the call. But I promise, I promise our next meeting I should have everything working properly. So please forgive me for that. And then secondly, we missed your beautiful faces. It was such a joy to be able to see the ladies who were able to attend beautiful faces. And also, I just have to share with you that you missed out. And I'm not trying to rub it in, but you missed out. <laughs> it was so awesome. We had God's word. We had prayer. We had transparency. Women were sharing um, what they're learning through the season, what God is speaking to their hearts, uh, best practices, ways on getting back through this time that we have never experienced before in our lives so and then we also had Dr. EVA on giving us an update on COVID-19 so it was a very resourceful productive encouraging and inspiring call and um, I hope that you're able to join us also you'll see in this email a link from Dr. EVA she's given us more information on the COVID-19 as time progresses and uh, she and I got have some special things for us um, in this season and beyond this season. She's such a sweetheart. She's very refreshing to my spirit. She's a light and I do respect all that she does in the name of Jesus. So sisters, you see what I'm about to do, right? It is that time. It is that time of the evening where I do my temple time. So I pray that you are also taking a moment to even walk outdoors or I mentioned about little things in your home. Actually, Andrea shared her uh, stairs in her home, how she goes up and down the stairs. And also, I think she said some jugs she used for uh, her arms for doing um uh, curls or what have you on her arm and then sister Nadia she's on it she's on top of it I'm her accountability sister to keep her uh, pursuing her her desire to be fit but you know what I haven't even had to hold her accountable she's been sending me updates hey sister I finished my workout you go girl man that was old remember Martin Lawrence used to say that <laughs> <laughs> but I love you guys. God loves you more than I could ever love you. You're so beautiful. And I'm just so happy how he's bringing us together in this season. And uh, I look forward to our next meeting on April 13th. Same time, I'm going to send out a meeting invite through Zoom. So do join the call early. So if there's any technical difficulties, we have an opportunity to correct them so we can see everybody's faces, right? God bless you. Please pray for me as God continues to pour and download um, in me all that he has for us. And uh, please also do not be afraid to utilize your gifts and share and uh, your prayers and your teaching. Anything that God has given you that can further purpose this ministry, I would love for you to speak up and, and just step out on faith and let God use you. So it's not about Ramonda. I say that adamantly often. It's about us as his daughters in Christ. And it's about us reaching the world, right? telling the gospel and the gospel is good news and we have so much to share with the world so i pray that you continue to put on your full armor that you walk out in the world be have the the distance right but you walk out and you just have not a care in the world because you know who holds your hand who loves you who has everything under control everything love you sister god bless you